Hey guys, so this is me giving you an update. Intraday, it's literally 2 p.m. Right now, we are one and a half hours before the closing of the market. But this is so interesting. And the reason why I'm making this video right now, you know I normally make my videos at the end of the trading day so that we at least have a market recap. But I'll do another one later showing you the whole uh, movement of the charts. But I want I wanted to share this because it's something exciting. It's something that's good. As you all know, uh, last night, global markets dropped. Global markets were oversold. And futures for our region were also down. And as you all saw it, the market today dropped to 5,100 uh, intraday. But after that, we saw a slew of... Of buying before I go to uh, the slew of buying one of the things that uh, I, I think gave a lot of optimism for today was uh, if you follow the government you know who Carlos Dominguez is uh, what Carlos Dominguez did was this uh, he told GSIS and SSS to boost their stock market purchases for the year uh, one of the reasons why he's saying that is number one he uh, stock prices on his opinion, are very, very low. They want to take advantage of it. Please remember, SSS, GSIS, they also make money from the stock market, especially for stocks that give them dividends as well. So SSS make money also, and SSS slash GSIS make money off of the markets. And this is what he did. Uh, based on the dropping of the prices, based on it being low, he gave an instruction to them to boost their stock market purchases. Uh, uh, to help arrest the sharp drop in the stock market and his instruction is basically this to support the stock market by at least doubling their daily average purchases volumes of last year so whatever their purchases from last year were uh, they're gonna double it for uh for this particular time frame and lo and behold if you look at it uh, this is a screenshot just a few minutes just a few minutes ago we're seeing the index just looking at this chart by the way you see this particular bounce and as you can see also here it's confirmed right here right now the index index as of this video is still uh still relatively down uh, however in comparison to where it was at the start of the day at 5,100 to around 560, 70, uh, we are at a better position right now. The all shares index is up, finance sector is up, industrials, holdings, and the property index, they're all also up. Uh, BDO is leading the charge, 9.97 uh, 9 points on top of the index. Metro Banks fo is, is following suit as well. So you're seeing the ones that we're... Uh, that were laggards are the ones pushing and trying to fight for the index now. So RHI is up 7.79%, MPI is up 2.29%, FGEN 4.88%, Metro Banks up 3.69%, uh, BDO 2.17%, Pure Gold is up 0.77%. Jollibee though, here's what's here's what's interesting. Jollibee is still down, but in spite of it, uh, in spite of it being down, it it was it dropped to a big amount. No, kanina one. Uh, at around 121 let me show you uh this portion ali at 32.70 came from a low of 30 pesos per share uh ganun din yung sm prime sm prime dropped below 30 pesos uh per share just this uh just this morning so a lot of a lot of people bottom picking uh based on a lot of the stocks that have dropped uh massively one thing that i'd like to also point out is bdo opened at around 99 pesos per share it's now, as of this point in time, around the 118 peso level. So there are some opportunities from this volatility, but I just want to I just want to clear this also that uh, it does not mean this is a trend reversal yet. It does not mean we don't have a confirmation that this is the bottom. But what we do know is there was a larger uh, amount of buying, a lot of people uh, bottom picking. So Jollibee from 128 is around at the around the 140 plus level already. PLDT uh, from 880 earlier today is at the 965 level and that's how the markets would normally work that's why it's very very important for you to keep uh, your plans in check to keep that what i've seen in times like this is when you see markets drop you see a lot of people that have lost money uh, cut losses on very very large amounts and I'll, I'll say this over and over when uh when if it's part of your plan to cut loss you better do it early uh, better minimize your losses. The name of the game is it's okay to cut losses. It's okay to lose money when you are trading, but the goal is to minimize it. If your plan is to cut, first sign of breakage of support, first sign of 
triggers from your parameters, either technicals or fundamentals, telling you to get out. You better get out as well. Uh, do not wait. And the problem is of a lot of people when they when they are subjected to a large amount of loss already and then fear starts to pound, pump up and then the market continues to go down, they would cut loss and at a larger amount already. So if your goal is to be an investor and as long as you know the fundamentals very well, that at large drops, it should be an opportunity for you to buy large drops, should be an opportunity for you to position large drops, should be an opportunity for you also to be able to uh, place money there as well you must be willing to stay the course that if you are an investor there will always be an opportunity there will always be a chance that your portfolio will be in the red in the red but as it's in the red it means that it's starting to drop as it's starting to drop you need to also be aware that you could uh, be able to position as well so i don't know if this is the lowest that the market would ever be i don't know if the lowest of ayala land will be 30 i don't know if the lowest of sm prime will be 27 i don't know if the lowest of ac will be around 500 I don't know if the lowest of BDO will be below 100 pesos. I don't I don't know if Jollibee's lowest will be 128 pesos per share. But what I do know is this. As it started to hit as, as at the highest point of fear, people started to pick up. And that's where money is also made uh, in times of uncertainty, in times of fear, in times of when people don't want to come in. As long as you follow your plan, that's where you can utilize and take advantage of it and bear by no way am i saying that the trend has already reversed but for those who are in it for dividends for sure your dividend yields right now would be very very good and very 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 attractive as well so especially for pld at uh 880 pesos per share just at 900 alone the yields the dividend yield for pldt is already very attractive for globe uh, those who picked it up around the 1.6 level, assuming the full year dividends, you're supposed to get around uh, s somewhere around 6 to 7% uh, dividend yield as well. So uh, what's, what's important also, especially when markets are not as uh, attractive right now, the dividends will help you because it's it's your it's your revenue while you're not getting while the market is uh, sluggish in a bit so i i don't know yet what's going to happen with the coronavirus we don't know yet i think and i've mentioned this in a couple of videos that if there should be something that would cause people to buy is number one if a vaccine is already found or a cure has been found for it and or people really realize that it's not as fatal as what most people think it is or number three, when they see the number of cases start to mature or or the growth of it isn't as as big. So uh, very, very important. Another thing that I'd like to say is uh, since you're seeing some of the stocks start to go up, what's very, very important also is you not get too excited and you deviate from your plan that you buy more than what you're supposed to buy, that you buy more than uh, what, what's needed as well. You're supposed to just follow. You're just supposed to... Uh, Stick with what you need, stick with your guns in terms of what you're supposed to buy and actually sell as well. So again, whatever movement was predicated, I think by this, please remember SSS, GSIS are very, very large funds. When when they start buying also, uh, it creates a level of support. But what's so interesting by this about what Carlos Dominguez did is it, it creates a level of confidence. It creates a level of confidence that... Uh, that they believe that it's relatively cheap right now that the underlying fundamentals of the country is still amazing to buy uh, to buy at this levels just also shows that they have a belief that our economy will be be in stride and that at this current prices it's relatively cheap and this is what i believe also that from where we were from 9000 to around 5100 uh that's a very very steep discount albeit there will be some hits in the economy there will be some uh, massive massive uh there will be some industries that will be hit there will be some industries and sectors that will lose a bit of money but the long term fundamentals of the country is still pretty much intact as well as it's pretty much in fact, uh, what's what's nice about it is companies that have been battered down, that have been hit massively. Please remember, Ayala Land went to as high as 53. It hit around 30 pesos today. Uh, SM Prime hit 
42, 43 pesos per share, it went to around 27 pesos today. And at the greatest portion where there's a lot of fear, there's money that can be made as long as you know what your plan is. Position traders, wait for a reversal. Quick traders, wait for an oversold. Oh, you can position when there's an oversold bounce. Investors, if you believe in the company so much and you believe that based on its underlying fundamentals, it won't be, uh, it will be untouched, it will still be profitable 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, then this is one of the greatest times for you to be able to to position as well so i guess that's it i hope this is something that added tremendous value to all of you uh, i'll make more videos you can expect another video uh tonight i'm going to analyze the charts for you as well comment below if you guys have questions comment below if uh if you want me to make another video off of all of this that i'm discussing to all of you so i guess that's it for now marvin germo 2 11 p.m today uh, updating you with more things happening on the market so i hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon bye everyone